you walk in and there's a bunch of monks playing the tabletop game. Hi peeps, Jelly Baby here and today I've got a different sort of video. Don't know why I'm doing this. I am super into fashion and I'm super into makeup but another thing I'm really into is gaming. And I thought what I should do or what would be fun, I've got Wednesdays and Fridays upload and I thought on Sundays we'll do like a sit down chitty chat videos and I'll do all sorts of videos on other stuff I'm interested in so I thought for my first one I'd go with one of my favourite subjects which is gaming now, I've been gaming my whole life since I was about maybe eight and I'm I've just oh, gaming's so fun <laughs> and so today I thought it'd be fun to talk about my favourite games and maybe introduce a couple of unique-ish games that you guys haven't played because some of these games I talk about all the time and people are like I've never played that like seriously you have to play these games they're so good our first game is an obvious one The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Eek. now for a start I've got a finger tattoo of it it's a bit ruined but that's besides the point <laughs> one of my favourite games it's just such a good story and the art is just oh it's just so cute and like Toon Link is, oh, he's just so adorable. Got great music as well as they always do in Legend of Zelda. If you've never played any of the series, I've got a theory, right? Whichever Legend of Zelda game you played first is prob probably your favourite. That's what I see, it seems to be. Because most people either have like Ocarina of Time, which most people grew up with, which is another really good Legend of Zelda game. But I grew up playing Wind Waker. I did have it originally on the GameCube and then when it got HD remastered onto the Wii U, of course I bought it and I did replay it. It's just a, such a good story. The Legend of Zelda stories are always some of the best, best stories ever. My next favourite game is Fable 1, 2 and 3. Now the second is my favourite out of the three, but I have played all three of them and I do really like all three. The third one, meh, still played it, still enjoyed it, but was not as great as the first two but i still liked it so the good thing about fable is it has some of the best sense of humor it's stereotypical english humor one of my favorite quests is this quest where you walk in and there's a bunch of monks playing the tabletop game and you get thrown into this tabletop game in miniature form and it's just it's one of those que quests where you don't expect it and it just comes out of nowhere and it's brilliant but some of the quests are just so hysterical and in number two and three you get certain things that collect that you have to collect i think the second one you get gargoyles and they just insult you the whole time you're trying to kill them and find them it also has a brilliant system where you go you can either choose the path of good or the path of evil and depending on what path you take you your appearance changes and some of your decisions are a bit different so it's like you can vary what story what sort of story you have of course i'm always good because i can't bring myself even though they're not real people i cannot bring myself to go on a mass murder spree <laughs> plus there is a new one announced and i can't wait to see what it looks like i'm hoping they do go through with it it's a new studio taking over the game but i have high uh, not high expectations but i I'm expecting good things because I so want to see another good Fable game because let's be real, the last like two instalments of the Fable series haven't been the best. But the other good thing about the Fable games is the lore is so good. Like with most, with a good, you know when you get those good RPGs and their story is just like bang on point and, oh, and when the lore is so good. <sighs> And there's so many secrets in it as well. You just, I spend so much of my time in Fable just exploring every nook and cranny, just to get all the hidden secrets and lore and all the weapons. Another one of my favourite games is Dragon Quest, and I feel like everyone, once again with Legend of Zelda, everyone has played a Dragon Quest game and loved it, or at least liked it enough to play again. <laughs> I just think the the art style, once again, the same with Wind Waker, the art style is just so cutesy and I love it so much. All the enemies, even though they're supposed to be enemies, look so cute, like the little cucumber guys and the little slimes. They're just, oh. But I played number 10, I think. I can't remember. It was on the DS, but I haven't played it for a while because I don't have a DS anymore. RIP DS. <laughs> Absolutely loved it and I would definitely play it again 
if I could and I shall one day hopefully fingers crossed but it's just such a good game and once again brilliant stories interesting stories and a few plot twists in there as well and the music is just once again yeah I don't know what about what it is about Japanese games but their music is just always so good like oh, it's just the other good thing about Dragon Quest is the battle system is turn-based, which is quite fun. I find it more like, with a lot of RPGs, my off-put is the combat, because I just, usually I don't, I'm, I'm more of a fan of strate like strategizing rather than just like going out there and killing something. So I do enjoy a turn-based game. Another game I absolutely love is Dragon Age Inquisition, and uh, I never played any of the Dragon Age games before. I, it was just kind of, I was watching a, one of my friends play Dragon Age one day, playing Inquisition when it came out, and oh, I just was like, I want to play that. <laughs> so I went, I borrowed my brother's EA Access, and I played the poopy out of it, and oh, it was so good. It was so... It's just the amazing character designs. There's a lot of character development in it and there's quite a few plot twists as well that you don't expect. But I just love games when you get to have like a sort of relationship with a character and like an NPC in the game. It's quite entertaining. I find it fun just to like see <laughs> who you can get along with. And I end up, my boyfriend ended up being Cullen. What can I say? I did try and get Iron Ball, but he was just having none of it in my game. I don't know, maybe I'm just not as suave as I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the story, same as the character development. The stories for the characters, and they've all really thought out. And once again, you can... The fight system's really interesting. Like, you can either do it, like, ram in there and, like, just hope. Or you can strategize. You get four people on your team and you get to switch them out and stuff. And it's really interesting, although, oh, the first time I tried to take out a dragon, it took, literally took me about six attempts. I don't know what was going on. Like, I just, the first dragon as well, it wasn't even, like, one of the big ones. It was, like, the one in the back, like, there's a cave, and, oh, I just, oh. Another one of my favourite games that nobody seems to really play is Luigi's Mansion. If you've never played Luigi's Mansion, it's so fun. It's, like... I've never been a huge fan of Mario games because of the whole platforms. Like I used to play them, obviously, but I wasn't. It wasn't like I was like, oh, new Mario game. I've got to get it now. I much prefer like the 3D versions of all their games that they've come out with, like 3D World, um, Mario Galaxy, all that jazz. They're more down my alley, and like with Mario Odyssey, that's just come out. And once again, me and my brother. Well, my brother bought it Boxing Day and we completed it the same day, which is kind of disappointing, but it was it was more like we just kept playing it, like, we wouldn't put it down. <laughs> but, Luigi's Mansion anyway, is what we're talking about. It's a really good game, like, I think I prefer Luigi over Mario, not gonna lie. It's just a fun take on the whole Mario Luigi aspect. It's got a lot of fun stories in it and it's really interesting, like, the whole idea of the game is you win, like Luigi won a, ma a mansion randomly that he never entered the competition for and you go to this mansion and you work out that it's actually haunted and that Mario's missing so you've got to find him and some of the ghosts in there are just brilliant there's like a lot of fun fun parts in it and a lot of really good puzzles you get like a little hoover and it's really fun to just run around and like although there is some inappropriate going on like I'm not gonna lie it looks like the whole time every time you shake any piece of furniture it just looks like he's humping it I'm sorry that's all I see but other than that it's a great game I think the last one on my list which I can think of I'm sure I'm missing like loads of games that I absolutely love but I just can't think of any more really but my last game that I want to add to this lid list is another game that people aren't really familiar with and also I've forgotten about it until someone mentioned it on Twitter the other week and then like, me and my mum were having a conversation about it but that's Bard's Tale and it's it's another one of those games where it's like Fable it's got a great sense of humour and the whole time the main character and the narrator are just arguing like and the main character is just so cynical I love it it's like once again typical English humour an amazing storyline and there's these three little aliens that you crash into and they always they've got like the best songs going and they get stuck in your head for weeks some very really funny st characters and some funny s dialogue with between the characters and the story is just so good it's a story it's um the actual gameplay it's it's over top which is interesting i'm used to like either 
first person or third person, but it is quite good. It's a good story. And that is all of my favourite games of all time. I hope you enjoyed this because I love gaming. I would like really, really like one day to set up a Twitch because I think it'd just be fun. If you have a favourite game that you think I should play, I generally like RPGs or adventure games, but if you've got a game that you want me to tr try out, make sure to comment it below so I know because I'm always up for trying new games. <laughs> and also, make sure to like this video if you would like to see more of chatty videos. It won't just be about gaming, I'd like to do social issues, gaming, maybe even some fashion issues or just like fashion talk, like if you guys want to sit down and have a conversation about I don't know whether or not pink should be used in winter, we can have a conversation about that, I don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, make sure to comment down below if you'd like me to talk about anything in particular or if you've got a game that you want me to try out because, you know, down for that. Or if you just want to discuss the weather. That is all from me today and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!